Family and friends of a South Florida church drummer killed by a police officer gathered to say goodbye this weekend. Yesterday's funeral service for Corey Jones was held at a church in West Palm Beach. As CBS 4's Vanessa Borge reports, Reverend Al Sharpton delivered a eulogy to a filled church at the service. As Corey Jones's body was brought in, music rang out of the Payne Chapel AME Church Saturday morning. The 31-year-old's casket was surrounded by flowers, a family, and friends. Just a family that, by just a show of the crowd, shows that they was beloved by the community, and people had a great deal of respect for them. More than a thousand people paid their respects to the church drummer killed two weeks ago by a police officer dressed in plain clothes. According to the state attorney's office, Jones was fatally shot on October 18th while waiting for a tow truck beside a highway exit ramp in West Palm Beach. Police officer Newman Raja pulled up in an unmarked van. An incident ensued and Raja shot Jones three times. Well-known civil rights activist Al Sharpton delivered Jones's eulogy Saturday morning asking for justice. And the beauty and the majesty of Corey is that blacks and whites and everybody's in here together Amen. and we're going to leave here together yeah. and we're going to stand together as we bury Corey, we will not bury justice. Officer Raja's name was mentioned only once during the service and it ended with a large procession to finally lay Jones's body to rest. Vanessa Borge, CBS4 This Morning.